Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. My name is Siti Nor Hayati binti Shahmizan, ID number 20193616635, Bachelor of Applied Chemistry, Faculty of Applied Science from University Technology Mara, Cawangan Perlis, Campus Arau. My review journal is titled, A Review on Methylene Blue Removal by Absorption Using Different Types of Food Waste and my supervisor is Sir Zulkifli Osman. In these centuries, industrialization has an important part to push the economies of a certain country forward, especially for the developing nation. Unfortunately, the great opportunity from industrialization also has its cost. Previous researchers have stated that industrialization could also be the factor for the environmental deterioration. It is well known that one of the factors contribute to the water pollution is coming from the textile, leather and cosmetic industry. The main effluent discharge from this activity is a dye that has the potential to affect the quality of water bodies near the industrialization site. Therefore, the absorption technique has taken researchers' interest for its efficiency to give high absorption for the dye removal while offering low operating costs. In stand with this, Mostly, the low-cost adsorbent was from the biomass of food waste that led to the discovery of another application for waste besides the waste was significantly known for its disposal problems. So, the purpose of this presentation is to review different types of food waste in the removal of methylene blue, to review different types of processes and methods in the removal of methylene blue using the food waste, to review and conclude the most effective fruit waste treatment in the removal of methylene blue using the absorption method. The treatment of the fruit waste material is crucial for the studies of removal methylene blue to enhance the physical and chemical properties of the material that will affect the absorption capacity. According to the Pata et al. 2015, the treatment consists of three processes that are pre-treatment, physical treatment, and even chemical treatment. The pre-treatment method was commonly known as the preparation of the fruit waste to be in the powder condition with a simple process, mostly by grinding, alongside the use of alkali and acid solutions. The physical treatment involved more regarding the cleaning, the drying, carbonation, and even the thermal treatment of the fruit waste materials. Chemical treatment was considered the most prominent method to be performed in the studies of the removal methylene blue when Jawad et al. 2018 state to prepare the sample in biochar or hydrophilic carbonaceous form, the chemical surface modification methods were commonly used. However, in recent years, some surgical and more novel treatment has emerged intending to design the materials to be more efficient for the dye removal. A recent study published by Hashim et al. 2020 used a strain of rhizopus microspore as a biological activation towards the banana peel pre-treatment, resulting in 31% absorption of methylene blue by the material and recorded to be very efficient for the dye removal. Besides that, converting the fruit waste material to activated carbon and magnetized conditions also has gained the researchers' attention. Activated carbon was widely employed due to its high surface area. As stated by Hashim and Amin 2016, the surface area is in ranging from 500 until 1500 mg while offer wide spectrum of surface functional groups and well-developed internal microporosity. There are two ways to produce activated carbon is either by physical or chemical activations. A chemical activating agent such as phosphoric acid, zinc chloride and potassium hydroxide was usually a single step activation compared to the physical activation that consists of multiple steps. For instance, the metal will be going through the carbonization process then proceeding to the activation with carbon dioxide and steam. Magnetic adsorbent has also increased due to the easy separation by using the external magnetic field. Katoglu et al. 2021 mentioned that when a banana peel was impregnated by the magnetic nanoparticles, slightly increased uptake of the dye has been observed and some studies also concluded that the calcium magnetic biochar banana peel exhibit higher adsorption capacity compared to the raw condition of the sample. 
This table shows some of the list of typical food waste used in the removal method in blue published studies alongside with a variety of treatments. A collection of batch adsorptive study based on their methods that could be broken down by the fruit waste materials in raw condition, carbon activated condition, in magnetized condition, and fruit waste that was subjected to chemically treated was observed. Beforehand, it is difficult to determine the suitability of particular fruit waste materials as a good adsorbent considering it is depending on the treatment that the fruit waste material were subjected to. To explore the suitability for a certain fruit waste materials, this review has compared studies that use different fruit waste materials that show an optimum parameter such as dosage, pH, and temperature in each table to indicate the suitability condition for each fruit waste materials that have been reviewed. This graph shows the comparison for different fruit waste material based on the absorption capacity in raw condition. It shows that the persimmon fruit peel has the highest maximum absorption capacity that is 303 mg per gram compared to other fruit waste materials. This significant value has a relation with the persimmon fruit peel treatment that goes through the pyrolysis process at 700 Celsius alongside the heating rate at 10 Celsius per minute in one hour under the flowing nitrogen. The process has surely affected the absorption capacity of the persimmon fruit peel when it was recorded by the Otis and Olmark 2020 that the pyrosis increased the total surface of the persimmon fruit peel from 18 to 22.4 mg per gram due to the emergence of micropores in the decomposition of cellulose, lignin and hemicellulose. This graph shows the comparison for different fruit waste material based on the absorption capacity in activated carbon. Pomegranate peel could be observed to have the highest maximum absorption capacity's value. In the study, the activator for the carbon activated process is phosphoric acid. According to the Jawad et al. 2018, the phosphoric acid improved the volume of microspore and widened the microporosity by making different volumes of microspore but with the same micropore size distributions. The study also states that the pomegranate peel has a good iodine number that is 1,209 mg per gram and this indicates that the material were adequate for wastewater application when Abdullah et al. 2019 mentioned that the iodine number that required to reach good wastewater application is in the range of 500 until 1,200 mg per gram. This graph shown the comparison for different fruit waste material based on the absorption capacity in magnetized treatment. Coconut shell displays 68.83 mg per gram which is the highest value for the maximum absorption capacity among the fruit waste materials that go through the magnetization method. Abdullah et al. 2019 claimed that this value was due to the iron oxide species and oxygen containing the functional group after the materials were modified. Besides, the coconut shell also going through biocarbon treatment contributed to the large surface area and porosity, hence making magnetized coconut shell biocarbon can effectively increase the absorption capacity. However, the magnetic particles also produce a low iodine number that is 159 mg per gram caused by the magnetic particle affecting the porous structure of the biocarbon with smaller surface area indirectly lower the iodine number. This graph shows comparison for different fruit waste material based on the absorption capacity in chemical treatment. Orange peel managed to achieve the highest value for the maximum absorption capacity compared to the other fruit waste materials that were treated in chemical. In the study, Guadiri et al. 2020 treated the orange peel with phosphoric acid and this caused the orange peel surface to be more amorphous due to the integration of phosphoric acid to the internal surface. Because of the treatment, the SEM image also shows that the surface has a heterogeneous structure with different pore size indicate it is ideal as an adsorbent. 
the orange pill that was treated with phosphoric acid also has isoelectric point equal to 3.34 meaning when the pH of the solution at 6, the orange pill will be negative charged that indirectly enhance the absorption of methylene blue which is positively charged. Three similar fruit waste material has been chosen from the review journal to make some comparisons between the raw condition and chemically treatment. Based on the table, the majority of the fruit waste in the raw condition gain more maximum absorption capacity compared to the chemical treatment condition. It could be observed even after the chemical treatment, the absorption capacity still do not show appreciable enhancement. The different value of adsorption capacity could also be due to the difference in the type of treatment, optimum dose age, temperature, and even pH respectively. However, this was contrasted by Pata et al. 2015 mentioning that the chemical modification imposed on the fruit waste materials should increase the absorption capacity by 2 or 3 two or three times compared with the raw conditions. The modification towards the fruit waste was also considered a crucial play in water purification process for ensuring a greater efficiency alongside in the sense of cycle usability. The fruit waste material have the utmost potency to be absorbent on methylene blue that could be the solution for the water pollution crisis regarding the industry that heavily used the dye. This review has summarized the different types of methods by using different types of fruit waste material for the removal of methylene blue including outlining the new novel method to prepare the fruit waste as an ideal absorbent. Altogether, from the review, it was clear to be observed that some alteration for the physical and chemical aim for different surface modification towards the fruit waste material enhanced the adsorption capacity compared to the raw condition. This review focused on the use of fruit waste materials in batch adsorption study could provide basic data to design absorption column for the industrial application. Hence, the effectiveness of the fruit waste as an adsorbent was dependent on the treatment that was subjected according to the published studies that identified the optimum parameters such as pH, dosage and temperature to affect the adsorption efficiently. It is recommended for the researchers to further study this topic to employ chemical and physical modification towards the fruit waste materials. To enhance the absorption capacity, the fruit waste material could be treated with pyrolysis process, prepare in activated carbon form, use phosphoric acid for the chemical treatment, and converted the fruit into magnetized condition by using the ion oxide in biocarbon form. All this treatment has shown a positive increment in total surface area and made the surface of the fruit waste more amorphous. That's all from me and thank you so much for the attention.